Good morning, buenos dias. Welcome to Puente de Lorente. <laughs> and um, it's really chilly this morning. It's obviously now the sun's kind of up over the trees. It's, it's warmer, but um, it was cold last night. <laughs> but um, anyway, I'm hoping that uh, to find some hot coffee. <laughs> so I'm a, 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 about... Uh, 11 or 12 kilometers from Leon and yeah I've already got my iron and Alberg I'm gonna stay at one that's just on the outskirts of town and yeah that that's actually even less than 12 I think it's more like 10 so yeah so coffee time <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so heading to Leon. I've actually booked somewhere online just because it's busy at the moment. And so there is a big public albergue, but um, on grons.com, the website, I've read some of the recent comments and people were talking about getting kicked out at 7 a.m., <laughs> which is kind of lunacy, really. I mean, most public albergues are 8 o'clock, which is fair enough. Most people want to be leaving way before then, but... For me, you know, it's way too, I'm just not a morning person. So tomorrow's meant to be really cold as well in the morning, down to, I think, seven degrees <laughs> overnight. So uh, I've booked an albergue called Check-In uh, Hostel, and it's about a couple of kilometers out of Lyon, but it's actually on the way into, just off the Camino. So yeah, and they have a 10 a.m. checkout, which is, more my kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, so uh, still wearing my wind jacket. So this wind jacket, um, it's like Columbia uh, brands and I got it for, it was half price in El Corte Inglés, 25 euros, knocked down from 50. And the great thing with this is that it doubles up as a kind of rain jacket. It's um, water resistant, it's not waterproof, but um, it's super lightweight, just scrunches up into a little ball and, um, you know, it's really good uh, for just keeping me warm on these slightly cooler mornings as well. I haven't tested the rain um, yet. It hasn't, lucky, you know, I've been lucky it hasn't really rained, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good little addition. Because all I have apart from this, I have a, a puffer jacket, a down jacket and two t-shirts and one long sleeve t-shirt. That's literally all I have, but obviously underwear, shorts, <laughs> two pairs of shorts and that's it. So I don't have a whole lot of clothes, but um, yeah, this kind of thing, a wind jacket uh, with a hood, I think it's a good idea actually. And it, like I said, it doesn't weigh hardly anything and um, yeah, just packs down real small. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> So just um, taking off my jacket finally. It's actually quite warm now. <clears throat> Got my sunscreen on my legs and stuff, so. And um, yeah, pushing on to Leon. So quite looking forward to being there. I was actually there three days ago, of course, 20 minutes. <laughs> so uh, continuing towards Leon and Coming up to a village, as you can see straight ahead, and <laughs> it's been really flat this section. And that in the center of the picture constitutes probably the biggest climb for a long time. <laughs> I just climbed the little hill, wasn't too bad. <laughs> So, just walking through Archaweha. Archaweha. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how it's pronounced. Yeah, I just kind of um, stopped back there and um, did a little calculation. And I'm around the 1400 kilometer mark for this summer. So, that's starting from the south of Portugal all the way to Santiago. And then from Pamplona to here. So should get past a thousand miles kind of sometime in to Galatia. So that's quite exciting. <laughs> I am mad. 
clearly. <laughs> So there's definitely another climb ahead. Quite a substantial one. <laughs> yeah, lucky it's not too hot yet. There's a solo pellegrino, or pellegrina maybe. And some chickens. <laughs> So I guess these are like the outer industrial areas of Leon, and um, assuming that the city is just probably over that hill, <laughs> although there's still a few kilometres to go. Much warmer now. <laughs> Hard to believe it was cold earlier. Such a huge range in temperatures uh, at the moment. <laughs> So they've, my memory's kind of sketchy, but I'm, I was thinking, I'm sure we went up that hill um, and to that kind of area up there of wasteland. And looks like originally you did go that way, but they've obviously rerouted it. But um, yeah, I wonder why. Here come some more pilgrims. Oh, I guess I should follow the arrows. So it would have been very easy to have crossed this further down there. I would suggest you do that, otherwise you've to avoid this maze of a bridge. It's a bit annoying really. <laughs> Could have crossed before, but anyway. This is uh, definitely the outskirts of Leon now, so not too far to go. So, that's Leon. Not the most uh, attractive walk into a city, but uh, yeah. They've definitely rerouted it, I think. Maybe because, I mean, some of these roads look quite new. I don't know, but um, not far now to the hostel, Alberghe. There's the cathedral right in the middle of the shot. So not far from my accommodation now. And yeah, some couple of guys kind of, uh, I thought they were police at first, but they weren't. They were from the council, kind of asking loads of questions just back there. And I'm like, look mate, I just want to get to, you know, go and have a shower. Um, it's kind of asking me where I was from, what I was doing, where I'm staying, all this. But anyway, I made my excuses and left, to be honest. <laughs> but not far now. So, this is my albergue. It's even got my name on it, Tone. People used to call me that when I was in school. Short for Tony, Anthony. Anyway. Here we go, let's see what it's like. Gonna check in. In the Alberg. So, um, very nice in here. The guy next door to me has just sealed himself in. <laughs> so are they. <laughs> okay, well I'm probably not gonna do that, but it's nice anyway, there are curtains here. It's 12 euros, 1.6 kilometers outside of Lyon. It's called Check-In Albergue. Um, there's a huge hypermarket opposite, Carafal. They have a kitchen, laundry, everything seems to be open. I think they're only um, doing bottom bunks, which is the, the normally the theme, particularly with municipal albergues. This is a private one, um, but yeah, they're, they're doing the same as the municipals, but some private albergues are doing both upper and lower, but yeah, very impressed. Anyway, I'm going to go get some food and hopefully cook myself a nice meal. 
if you could like this video and um, if you haven't already subscribe liking it just helps it in the ratings and gets more people watching my videos so really appreciate that